Hello. In 1939, the Dutch electronics company Philips entered the electric shaver business when they introduced the first rotary electric shaver, which was developed by engineer Alexander Hodes. As you can tell, this shaver is not quite ergonomic. Although after the war in 1948, uh, they introduced a, a more ergonomic egg-shaped shaver, again a single head, which again was not quite that successful. But it wasn't until 1951 when Phillips introduced a two-headed model that uh, the sales started to take off. Eventually, Phillips would become the top-selling electric shaver worldwide. The, the Phillips used the brand name Phillishave uh, for their shavers, except in the United States because of trademark issues with a competitor, Philco. So Phillips uh, sold their products in the United States using the Norelco name. Phillips uh, finally got the rights to their own name in 1980 or so after they bought Philco. In 1966, Phillips uh, introduced a three-headed electric shaver, which uh, was test marketed in Australia 10 years before, but introduced it worldwide in 1966. In 1980, Phillips introduced the lift and cut shaver, in which uh, a lifter would slightly lift up the each whisker before the, the cutter cuts it. Now, I understand that the members of the Orthodox Jewish community consider the lift and cut shaver to be great because it nicked the whisker before cutting it. There is a way to make those type of shavers kosher by cutting the lifters. In 2002, the James Bond movie Die Another Day was released, which contains several examples of product placement, and they included the placement of a Philips electric shaver marketed uh, under the Norelco name in the United States and the Philips shaped name elsewhere, and a special James Bond model shaver, uh, the Philips shave Sensitech, uh, here's, the, here's the shaver, and also marketed in a special canister, similar to the canister shown in the movie, in which James Bond shaves himself up while staying at a Hong Kong hotel after he was released from a North Korean prison. Now, I saw this movie twice. I, I saw it first at the, the local uh, movie theater here in Michigan, and the shaver was marked Neralco. I also saw the same movie across the Blue Water Bridge in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, and that shaver was identified as a filler shave model. It, now, when you see the movie on a DVD, uh, the shaver brand is not clearly indicated, but if you look closely, you can, do, you can see the filler shave brand name. In 2006, Phillips made a marketing move when it faced out the filler shave brand name in favor of the Phillips name, as shown. Uh, on this model shaver and began co-branding their electric shaver sold in the United States, Philips Norelco, so they can eventually phase out the Norelco name over a period of years. So over time, on their Norelco branded shavers, uh, over time, the Philips name was made bigger and the Norelco name was made smaller. In 2019, Philips celebrated its 80th anniversary in the electric shaver business by introducing a heritage model. In fact, they packaged it in this retro style box. And the shaver itself is, while it's contemporary, could be kind of retro because of the color of it. And one final detail about this uh, heritage edition shaver is this kind of is kosher because there are no lifters on the shaver. So this shaver is acceptable to the Orthodox Jewish community. So that's my brief synopsis of the Phillips electric shaver story. 
and I thank you for watching this video.